Welcome back, Awaken Intuitives, and welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. Natalie here. So, we are back to do a reading to ask some questions and see if we can get some confirmation and answers about this 4.8 earthquake um, in New Jersey felt all the way up to New York City and surrounding areas. And this is also going to be an update reading on this coming solar eclipse. Okay, so I found out this um, about this earthquake this morning. Today is the day of this earthquake. Uh, it is March 5th, I'm sorry, April 5th, <laughs> 2024. It is April now, so yeah, anyway. So I'm gonna read some information about this and the articles where I got all this information will be linked in the description below. If you want to go read those articles, you can. And um, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, the timestamps will be in the comments below and the description below. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so you are notified for future uploads. And uh, let's begin by reading this information, okay? Let's get this started. I do have some intuition, ESP, clairvoyant, frequency music playing in the background that I do not own the rights to. And let's begin. So one of the largest East Coast earthquakes in the last century, again, article is linked in the description below, a strong earthquake sent shockwaves throughout New York City and surrounding areas this morning, 4-5-2024. So just three days before this solar eclipse, okay, and the 4.8 earthquake was centered in Radington Township, New Jersey, 40 miles west of New York City. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, it hit at approximately 10.23 a.m. The impact was felt throughout the tri-state tri -state area, including upstate and Syracuse, Philadelphia, and as far as Baltimore, Maryland, okay? The USGS said it was felt all the way from Maine to Washington, D.C. There were reports of buildings shaking and rattling came in from New Jersey to Long Island at the time of the impact. Then a 2.0 um, aftershock struck west of Bedminster, New Jersey. About an hour later, we're talking this extreme, we're taking this extremely seriously. And here's why there's always a possibility of aftershocks. We have not felt this uh, type of magnitude of this earthquake since about 2011. New York City Governor Kathy Hochul Hal <laughs> um, said, this is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast to occur in the last century, she said. So she started a damage assessment across the state and spoke with New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy since the quake's epicenter was located in the Garden City. It's been an unsettling day to say the least. She said, um, Murphy said New Jersey has activated its emergency operations center and urged residents to not call 911 unless they are experiencing an actual emergency. So New York City officials said there have so, so far been no reports of major impacts across the city. New York City Mayor Eric Adams said, though there's always a concern about aftershocks, New Yorkers should go about their normal day. First responders are working to make sure the city's safe in the event of an aftershock. Adams said people should drop to the floor, cover your head and neck, and take cover under a solid piece of furniture next to an interior wall or under a doorway. Adams also said he's been in touch with the White House. Earthquakes don't happen every day in New York, so this can be extremely traumatic. The number of text calls and inquiries that people sent out not only to our administration but to family members. Check in on them. We know how this can impact you. Adams said, New York City public schools were told to continue operations and hold dismissal as normal. Parents do not need to pick up their child early as a result of today's earthquake. Additionally, all after school programs will continue as planned. New York City Schools Chancellor David Banks said, all of our students across the school system are safe. All of our staff are safe. We have no reports of any structural damage to any of our school facilities. While many schools, in fact, felt some tremors from the earthquake, Adam said he was at the Youth Gun Summit at Gracie Mansion and did not feel the quake himself. The quake um, caused temporary ground stops at JFK, 
Kennedy and New York Liberty Airports. There were delays as well as LaGuardia as crews checked for damage to the airports and runways. The MTA said it is inspecting all New York City area bridges and tunnels. Officials said also tunnels were checked, uh, subway tunnel, tunnels. Initial inspections show there was not damage to any MTA infrastructure, but we will continue to monitor this situation closely. The MTA posted on X. Amtrak and MTA service remained on their full schedule. Hochul said, Hochul, I don't know. <laughs> it, I was lying in bed and my whole apartment building started shaking. I started freaking out. One New York City resident said to CBS New York's New York's Elijah Westbrook. Cracks in the walls were visible in an apartment in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. The Empire State Building had a bit of fun after the quake. I am fine, the building posted on X. Um, history on previous earthquakes in New York. It's not the first time the East Coast and New York City have been hit with a quake. A 5.0 quake was measured in New York City in 1884. That's 300 years. So that's interesting. Um, like exactly 300 years. So that three there, just weird, okay? Um, there's a major fault line in New Jersey called the Ramapo Fault, which stems from the Appalachian Mountains. And there are at least five smaller fault lines under Manhattan Island. I've heard of that before. The quake comes just as a few, a few months after. This is what's interesting. The quake came just, just a few months after the USGS, Okay. warned nearly 75% of the United States could face damaging quakes in the next 100 years. I remember, I live in Utah, and I remember Utah um, doing this shakedown type of thing and um, for a prepare thing. So in 2011, a 5.8 quake struck in Virginia and rattled the entire west, or east coast, sorry. The path of the solar eclipse goes through the top part of New York as well. There have been bridge collapses like the Baltimore, Maryland bridge that was struck by a large cargo ship. The bridge had about 30,000 vehicles. Sorry. Okay. 30,000 vehicles crossed, would cross it daily. And it's a major, major transportation for a uh, cargo, you know, coming into the United States. So that's interesting, right? And it said that there were a couple of other ones. So yeah, um, this happened on March 26th of 2024, which was during the shadow period of the Mercury retrograde Okay, the Mercury retrograde started on April 1st, 2024, this year. But there's a shadow period. It could be up to a month before and up to a month after that you can actually feel the effects of a Mercury retrograde. Mercury rules the third house. There's the three again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask about that. <clears throat> Communication. Hmm. There's many of those. The three. So weird. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> okay. So Mercury rules the third house in astrology. The third house. Mercury is an air sign. Okay. Or Mercury is airy. It's connected to Gemini, which is an air sign. Ruling the third house of communication, transportation, journeys, technology, mentality. Okay. So vehicles, transportation, shipment, things like that, okay? So um, when the retrograde is near, we see challenges and obstacles in those areas, right? And even technology, so our phones, our computers could be laggy, things like that, okay? So I'm just curious about this earthquake. Solar eclipses are known throughout history to affect animals, the environment, the weather, um, even the fall leaders. 
and things like that, okay? And the effects of tides, the tides, right? And then it is said that cicadas, locusts, will re-emerge after like 13 years, up to a trillion of them are said to emerge in the U.S. Two periodical cicada broods are appearing in a 16-state area in the Midwest and Southeast for the first time in centuries. So interesting. Around the end of April, they say that they're going to re-emerge. But honestly, I don't know what to believe. You know, that's why I'm here asking questions and everything. What's the connection? Is there a connection? But last year, I live in northeastern Utah. Um, I've lived here at my home for 10 years. And last year, there were cicadas. I'm like, what the hell are those things? They're freaky. <laughs> They're freaky. But, I mean, they didn't do much harm or anything. So, um, yeah, they were just really strange. But they emerged here. So, and I've been here for 10 years, you know. Anyway, so um, the link to that article will be in the description below as well. Now check this out. There's also the Cicada 3301 puzzle. That came about online between 2012 and 2014. They say it started January 2nd, 2012 with the first puzzle. It is a cryptic message created by no one knows of the person or group looking for intelligent individuals. It begins with an image, cicada, okay? It looks like a cicada, um, and a hidden message that participants must find. It's filled with complexity that tests one's intellect. They had to decode the message. It said that those who were able to complete it were recruited to some software team that was heavily secured. The third is said, there were three of these damn things. Okay, um, to be unsolved. So there was a, three of them. It said that the third was still, still to this day is unsolvable. Oh. This person or group posted QR codes with this cicada image all across the globe in specific areas and countries. All across the globe. And um, then it just was done. Nothing came about it. I just thought that was interesting. There is a link to that in the description below as well. The 30, the Cicada 3301, okay? So now I want to ask some questions and do reading. Oh, and there are, there's these emergency measures being taken on April 8th, 2024 due to the solar eclipse travelers. So I did a reading on that. That'll be linked in the description below if you have not checked that out yet, okay? So I'm gonna ask some questions, do a reading, and see if we can come up with some answers to what's been happening. If there's nothing to it, so be it. But I but I personally <laughs> um, do not believe in coincidences, okay? And um, I'm always questioning things with an open mind. So remember to always have an open mind, always ask questions. Truth is always stranger than fiction, and this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so that's that, and uh, let's begin. So I'm going to light this incense. This is for the throat chakra. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some messages, general energetic messages before we begin asking questions. All right. So let's see what I got. Um, I'm just gonna do a few quick ones. Okay. And then how many times did they use the word impact? I don't even know. I should have counted. You know what? I'm going to count. 
I'll be right back. Okay, so I counted at least in one article, impact was used four times and struck was used two times and hit was used two times. So we have a four, two, two, which adds up to number eight, which is so funny because this sort of clips is April the fourth month on the eighth and 2024 is an eight. So just thought that was pretty interesting. Okay. So now let's pull our general energetic messages, see what we can get on this. All right. <clears throat> all right. So we're going to use all the decks I use will be in the description below, but I will tell you what they are. This is the Awaken a Dreamer Oracle. And again, all this is for entertainment purposes. And, um, yeah, always have an open mind. Always ask questions. Truth is always stranger than fiction. I personally always ask and connect to divine source, like creator guides and my protectors of the love and light only. Okay. For assistance, for yeah, connection messages, answers, all that. Okay. So what do we need to know about the general energetic message about the, the, uh, earthquake, the 4.8 earthquake this morning? New Jersey, New York City. Take yourself lightly. Well, that's interesting. That's what? Take yourself lightly. Okay, let's look for keywords. Your playful spirit is bursting at the seams. That reminds me of a fall line or beneath the surface, right? Bursting at the seams, ready to laugh, create, and explore. If you give your childlike essence permission. Hmm permission. What delightful shenanigans might ensue. Angels fly because they take themselves lightly, so get tickled by the divine comedy of life. We're going to have to keep this in mind. So yeah, let me write that down. <laughs> what a weird day. Okay, we've got bursting. Oh, she's bursting at the seams. And then permission. And the shenanigans. That's what sticks out to me. Okay, so there's that one. So we're just gonna set that right here for now. And then let's pull from the angel answers cards. Angel answers, yeah, angel answers. I haven't used these in forever. Angel messages? I think so. No. Angel messages. I think it's the angel messages. Okay. All right. What can we get from the angel messages cards? Um, okay. We have a purpose. So take yourself lightly. Now we have purpose. The angels remind you that every situation a person is placed on your path with a purpose. Isn't that interesting? Upstate New York is in the path of the solar eclipse, right? Wow, purpose and path. It may be to strengthen you offer you an opportunity to resolve or forgive the past, release old patterns, or for enjoyment. Hmm. Your life purpose is ultimately to do that which brings you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Connected here, right? Um, seeking these soul qualities will place you on the path of your destiny. Once on your life path, allow nothing and no one to, to deflect you from your mission. Reminds me of shenanigans, right? Permission. So deflect from your mission keywords right your guidance is to ask your angel to help you to find the purpose of your current situation or if you're already your life mission align your strength and willpower and hold your intention to fulfill your purpose the angels will support you and you will succeed the affirmation says i am strong and determined so there's that one Okay, last one. I am going to use a Shaman's Dream Oracle. And I'm going to pull three. <clears throat> and 
and I may go back and forth between some tarot and oracle and also my own cards that I've created. Okay, what needs to come out from the Shaman's Dream Oracle cards? Can I get three, please? About the general energetic uh, energy on the earthquake. Okay. Wow. One more, please. These are always so good. Okay, try that again. Do we need one more? Ooh. Okay. All right. So <laughs> we have a card 21. So 21 can be related to the world card in the tarot. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth, energy can be Earth. And, ooh, geez. And um, that 21 is a three. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, Earth, energy, 21. The world card in the tarot is a completion, a fulfillment, endings and new beginnings, a cycle, a, a travel as well, travel. And then the three, the three is Mother Earth energy, 3D. We've been getting threes, right? Just reading the articles. And um, the three can be connected to that third house of Gemini, Air, Mercury, Mercury retrograde, but Mercury, the third house, is all about transportation, journeys, technology, shipment, vehicles, okay? So pretty interesting. Three can also be about a cooperation and teamwork. And it says first breath, beginner's mind. The planets, the planets aligning, what's happening? the solar eclipse it's gonna happen because of the new moon going between the earth and the sun that's what happens the planets big part of it okay wow so now we have a number nine and nine can be almost at a ten which is a fulfillment a completion and a cycle as well nine the ninth house is like Sagittarius energy fire it's about faith, trust, a trust fall, a leap of faith, um, and higher learning, higher education, higher knowledge, higher perspectives. It says dances on one foot, balancing act. I feel it's the planets. I feel it has a lot to do with the planets. Yeah. I think the solar eclipse has something to do with it as well as a new moon coming. We're in eclipse season. We just had a lunar eclipse and uh, Mercury involved, Mercury retrograde. And then I believe Jupiter's doing something too. I'm going to have to check. And then the last one is a 52. 52 can be a seven. So seventh house in astrology is ruled by Libra, okay, which is an air sign. Libra is the scales balance right the scales out of balance things are out of balance on earth that's what's going on okay and the seventh house is also relationships partnerships the balance the union of two it's a straddling worlds okay the shift from the 3d okay that we're experiencing here i feel this is a big part of it and i feel this solar eclipse is going to like activate this Okay, we are in the birthing pains. First breath, okay. And the three is connected to Mother Earth Gaia. Connected to the Empress card in the tarot, which is Mother Earth Gaia. Fertile, pregnant. So we're in the birthing pains of 3D shifting to the 5D. Straddling worlds, are you kidding me? Wandering between realms. Oh my gosh, focus. That was so good. That was so good. Okay, so now what I want to do is we're going to go back to the words, the impact. We're going to go back to the bursting of the seams, the permission, the purpose path, right? We're going to go back to that later. And so let's begin with some tarot. <clears throat> well, now move on to some tarot. And... 
Um, let's do the Unfolding Path Tarot. This is a newer one that I just got. It's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Things are so interesting, so weird. The energy, I'm sure you guys can feel it too. All right, so my first question is, what do we need to know about this 4.8? I didn't even realize the 4.8, 488 April 8th. 2024 solar eclipse. I don't believe in coincidences. I feel like everything's connected in some way, somehow. Okay. Are you kidding me? I didn't even catch that. 4.8. 4, 8 solar eclipse. What the heck? Okay. What? Yeah. That's what we need to know. Is that this earthquake is connected to the solar eclipse. They say... Solar eclipses don't cause earthquakes and things like that, but it can affect the environment. It can affect weather, the tides, right? It can affect the energy. They're not going to say that on Google, you know? <laughs> All right. So what do we need to know about this 4.8 earthquake? Wow. Oh my gosh. Bear with me, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. What do we need to know about it? So we have a three wands. Wands is fire energy. Three. I just seen 12 minutes, but you won't see that. Three. 3D earth plane. Our world, okay? Wands is fire. Solar energy. Solar eclipse. The three of wands, it's like things are already put into place, like put, uh, already planned out, but now it's time to take action upon these plans. It's about to embark on a new journey, embark across waters. It's a new journey. It's a domino effect as well. The planets, things are falling into place. Things are, things are shifting. We're about to embark on across a whole uh, across to a whole new world, straddling worlds, you guys. This ship reminds me of the cargo ship of Baltimore, Maryland Bridge. See this in the sky? These lines, the alignment of planets, the stars, and ship following the constellation, following the stars, right? It has a lot to do with the stars. And we have an ace of cups. So aces is a new beginning. We got that breath of life, the new beginning already, right? And this cups is water energy. <laughs> water is connected to the moon. We are having this new moon with the solar eclipse. So moon energy. Ace of Cups can be heart healing, healing the heart, unconditional love, self love, feelings, emotions, new love. There's a dove of peace, reminds me of Christ consciousness, heart consciousness, reawakening, awakening, coming about. This reminds me of 5D, right? This is so cool. And then we have a Nine of Swords. So that nine again, um, the swords is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Okay. And the nine of swords is like fears, doubts, nightmares, anxieties. It does remind me of the moon, nightmares, bad dreams, but it's like stressing, anxiety, doubt, worry, depression. So a new beginning from all of this 3d, 3d mentality, the 3d conditioning the 3d manipulations the 3d right holy crap that's nuts so that's what we need to know about this 4.8 earthquake and that's what we got you know 
Okay. Um, okay. I think I need to pull an oracle. I keep seeing this one. It's the Star Codes Astro Oracle. So let's do that. See what that has to say. I keep seeing it. Why do I keep seeing it? Okay, and then ask the same question too. Just gotta find my guidebook. You know, let me guys what you think, you know? That'd be freaking awesome. Okay. Where's my book? I don't know where my book is. Did I overlook it? Shite. Well, I can't find the book. What? That's so weird. I'm sorry. You can fast forward. Maybe I'll just cut this out. I'll probably just cut it out. Oh my good heck. Where is my book? Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. Got it. Okay, I keep seeing this. Ask the same question, but pull from the Star Codes Astro Oracle. Okay, see if we can get some confirmation. What do we need to know about this 4.8 earthquake? Okay, here we go. So from the Star Codes Astro Oracle, what is it that we need to know from this deck about the 4.8 earthquake from this morning on the East Coast? What is it from the Star Codes Astro Oracle? Okay. Oh, wow. We have a card 39. We were getting that three. We were getting that nine. 39 adds up to number 12, which is a three. 3D world. Now we have first house arrival. I seriously feel we are about to arrive in the new earth 5d i am not kidding what i didn't expect this i knew that the solar eclipse had something to do with the new earth 5d but not this earthquake but this earthquake is connected to it that's what we're getting oh death we have eighth house and jupiter holy in the third house see okay okay Oh, shit. I gotta take him. I gotta take him. First house, arrival. The new earth, okay? First house is ruled by Aries. We're in Aries season. I did a predict pred prediction reading for each month this year. And I knew something was going to happen. April. There's other things that are going to happen this year. But um, I'm going to go watch that back. Wow. First house is ruled by Aries. We're in Aries season. April 8th. The solar eclipse is going to be during Aries season. Wow. Then what comes out next is the 8th house. 8. Aries season. And then eight. Holy cow. Eighth house is actually ruled by Scorpio water sign. It is a death rebirth. Changes cycles. Endings and new beginnings. It's a 46. 46 adds up to number 10. 10 is also a cycle. It's endings and new beginnings. Because it's a fulfillment of something. A new age. We're... I feel... Yeah, the golden age. Yep, mystery. Eighth house. Death rebirth. Then what came out next was Jupiter. Card 23. Last year was 2023. But um, Jupiter is abundance. It's about expansion. Okay, I feel like Jupiter has something to do with this too. I feel like there's, yep, there is. There's something going on with Jupiter too around this time of the solar eclipse. But I'm going to double check and put it on here for you guys. 
So Jupiter's involved. Jupiter's about abundance, prosperity, and expansion, okay? Then what came out next was the third house. This is a card 41. So 41 adds up to number five. Fives are about cycles and changes and challenges. And the third house connected to Mercury. We're in a Mercury retrograde now. It's connected to Gemini energy, air, third house of communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. 3D. Then what came out next was a card 22, Mars motion. 22 is also a number four. Okay. We keep getting four as well because April is the fourth month. And, um, a four can be the fourth house, cancer, energy, water. It is home, family, structure, stability, solid foundation. I feel 3D, our earth mother, earth Gaia, divine feminine mother, earth Gaia. 3D, our home. And Mars is about battle, struggles, um, a tug of war. You know, we did get that nine of swords. It's like fears hanging onto the past, nightmares, depression, anxiety, anxiety about the future, depression about the past, right? Things like that. Battles, war, okay? And then we have Libra. And number seven, Libra rules the seventh house. Libra is an air sign. Balance. Out of balance. Things are out of balance. The planets are out of balance. They're saying it's like an alignment, but it's like, it is an alignment of the planets, but it's an imbalance on Earth, our 3D plane. Oh, shoot. So, holy, really? Okay, so now is there any connection to the earthquake because of the solar eclipse? That's my next question. Let's get some confirmation. Is there any connection to the earthquake because of the solar eclipse, April 8th of 2024? Is there a connection? Oh. All right, do I need another deck? Is there a connection between the solar eclipse and this earthquake this morning? Yeah. Aces for me is 99% of the time a yes, you guys. It's an ace of pentacles. And pentacles is earth energy because it's towards work with Capricorn. A new beginning. This is a big yes. A big yes on earth. Our planet. Yes, absolutely. There's a connection. Absolutely. Okay. Are there things happening underground? Okay. Now I'm going to get deep here. So <laughs> bear with me. Use your discernment and um, have an open mind. For entertainment purposes, that the truth is always stranger than fiction. Is there ha anything happening underground? I'll get more specific here in a minute. Is there anything happening underground, at least here in the United States? Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Seven of swords. That's sneakiness. Air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, seven. We have the seventh house Libra energy, right? That's partnerships, relationships, um, uh, the scales, law, karma, okay. The seven of swords is a liar, cheater, thief, or strategic, sneaky, being strategic, sneaking around. Now let's see if we can get more specific. Ooh, yeah. Bye, people. What's happening underground? Is it by people? We have the fool. We have the freaking fool. So this is a major arcana, okay? And major arcanas hold big energy. It's like life-changing type energy, kind of like set in stone kind of thing, okay? The fool is the very beginning of the tarot. It is the number zero of the major arcanas, okay? This reminds me of a countdown almost. And um, a lot of us intuitives um kept feeling a countdown starting like last year big time okay and then um the fool is air energy of course gemini libra energy the fool is like childlike energy okay and it's also a, a trust fall a leap of faith jumping into into the unknown 
trusting where you're led, being spontaneous, being adventurous. Um, it's childlike. It can be immature. It can be um, just not thinking strategically. Okay. But it's, uh, this is childlike energy. My people. Is that a yes? So there's things happening underground in the United States by people. Is that correct? Connected to the earthquake. Is that correct? Three of swords. Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This is actually the Gemini card. A Gemini card. Because it's a three. And swords is air. Gemini in the third house with Mercury. Gemini card. Ruling uh, communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. So this can be heartbreak. Betrayal of the heart. The total opposite of that Ace of Cups. Ooh. Heartbreak. Betrayal of the heart. stabbed in the heart but it also can be the mentality hurting it their own heart i'm gonna get a different tarot deck this is interesting this is connected to littles okay let's now do the star kissed tarot. Hmm. Okay. How about this? Um, is this earthquake only because only because of the fault line, the Ramapo fault line? Is it only because of that? No. The two of coins. Um, it's partly that. Okay, because two of coins is two energies, two earthy energies. Coins uh, is pinnacles. It's a set priorities. It's an imbalance too. Things are out of balance. Okay, I think that's one of the reasons though. Uh huh. Yeah. And then the other reason, the other reasons people right underground in that area. Page of coins. Page of pinnacles. That's a yes card. It says recognize opportunity. There's hot air balloons. That's so weird. This red balloon stuck out to me. Now there's hot air balloons. Recognize opportunity. Oh, sh did people use this fault line to do something underground? Yes. Ace of coins, the ace of pentacles and the six of coins, the ace uh, or the six of pentacles and the devil. Ooh. You guys, something's going on underground, okay? Um, some of you may have heard of the underground battles, the underground war going on. Again, all for entertainment purposes. But I always get a yes on it, okay? So look at this. Recognize opportunity. Look, he's like a little businessman. But the hot air balloons, that reminds me of shipping off something, maybe even something valuable. And then we got the Ace of Coins, Pentacles, Something valuable, which is another yes card. That's a yes. Okay. That's a yes. They used, they used this fault line to do something underground. And I feel it has something to do with the littles. Okay. If you know what I mean. New abundance, ace of coins. That's a yes card. Okay. Then we have the six of coins. It's another yes card. This is generous giving. This is a charity. Generous. Look at the moon. See, this looks like a sun, doesn't it? It's a sunflower. The moon about to go over the sun. Solar eclipse. Are you freaking kidding? You guys, okay. This is charity, generosity, a give and take. Doing charity type of work, okay? It can be gifts. And then we have the devil. Capricorn energy. Capricorn's an earth sign. Ruling the 10th house. 10th house can be career, public image, social status. Okay. And it says destructive indulgence. So, 
The devil can be addictions, drugs, bad habits, toxicity, violence, negative, evil. It can be just fears and chains locked up, tied up under somebody's thumb. I'm pulling for my cards now. Wow. I seriously feel like the charity. I think this was an opportunity for the good guys. If you want to call them the White Hats, that's fine. To use this as an opportunity to save the Littles underground. I'm serious. I've wondered that. All right, I am going to pull from my cards, okay? Let's see what we get. This is so wild. What do we need? How? How? Explain this shit to me. Explain it. We just got the devil. Okay? Now we have demons and demonic. Underground. Who, who are the demons demonic that's connected to the underground stuff? Who are they? I think a lot of us know already. Who are they? The swamp? Dark hats? Black hats? Four of swords! And then I got a yes card. It says it's a yes card. It says earned rest. Well, the four of swords is laying down your weapons. It's like a truce. It's also rusting. Um, it's also like, yeah, laying down all of your weapons and uh, like giving up. What else do we need to know about them? The demons demonic. We have harvesting time. Oh! Harvesting time. Is it, is it rounding up the dark demonic ones? Is it rounding them up? Eight of wands, five of wands. Eight of wands says it's a yes card. It says accelerating quickly. Eight of wands is coming in fast and in swift quick. Five of wands is a battle. It's a battle. It's this frictional conflict. That's a yes. Harvesting time, arrests, rounding the bad ones up, black hats, right? Dark hats, demonic ones, because of what they've done for hundreds of years. Littles, okay? Eight of wands, coming in fast, quick, on fire, okay? Harvest time. And the five of wands is the war card. It's the battle card. Wow. Wow. So they did. Oh my gosh. So this is the white hats. The good guys. Oh my gosh. We have, I see the four wands and I see the moon card. Okay. So one second. Let me pull those out. Four of Wands is a yes card. That's fire energy. And Four of Wands is home, family, structure, stability. Look at what he's wearing. Being reunited with his family. A, a, right? His kid? The American flag. Then we have the moon, which is hidden unknown unseen beneath the surface ace of wands is on the bottom and then the queen of swords so i guess we need those the moon this solar eclipse is also going to be the new moon right this moon energy is a shadowed illusion it's number 18 of the major arcanas okay so 18 is also number nine nine again okay so um <sighs> the moon 
It's unknown, unseen beneath the surface. We're talking about underground stuff here. So there's that. Yeah, this is the white hats. And she's wearing a white uh, dress and um, cover around her eyes, right? And then the Ace of Wands is on the bottom. That's a big yes. That's fire, energy, motivated, new beginning. Okay. The race has begun. That's what I heard. Okay. And then the Queen of Swords, thinking strategically. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This, this queen is very balanced in her mentality, her mind. She's very knowledgeable, very wise. And she, um, she stands her truth, justice, and clarity. She wells the true sword. She brings in karma, truth, justice law. Wow. Look what's on the bottom. Truth warriors. That's what she is. Okay. I asked if this was the white house. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So now is there anything that officials know that we don't know? Let's go back to the tarot. Is there anything that if the officials know that we don't know? Uh, the public. Ten of swords. Okay. That's total lies and deception. Uh, 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 to the world. Check this out. How do you explain this? This ten of swords. I was explaining to you before we got this card. That this is lies and deception. Stabbed in the back. Right? Deep anguish. The swords is words, communication. Okay. The mind mentality, thoughts, beliefs. And now we have the world. To the world, you guys. That's a yes card. It's Earth Energy. This is Mother Earth Gaia, a number 21 of the Major Arcanas. 21 is also a three. Three is connected to the Empress, Divine Feminine, Mother Earth Gaia Energy. This is a journey, a completion, a travel, a fulfillment, but this is to us, to the world. Yes, they know things that we don't know. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. All right. So, yeah, absolutely. Is there a significance to the timing of the earthquake? Is there a significance to the timing of the earthquake this morning of, not March, April 5th, 2024? Is there a significance to the timing of when this happened, this earthquake? Five of coins, the five of pentacles. Ooh, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Five is changes, challenges, and it says hard misfortune. So today's the fifth, and we have a five of pentacles. Isn't that crazy? It looks like this place has been through an earthquake, doesn't it? So the five of coins is about um, financial loss, misfortune, hardship, left out in the cold, um, divorce, financial loss. All right, let's pull from my cards. What is the significance to the timing of this earthquake this morning of April 5th, 2024? We have fear mongering, okay? Weather forecast. Are you kidding? That's what they do. They fear monger the people, right? And this five of coins can be feeling left out in the cold, not really grabbing, getting up, grabbing the key, and just letting yourself in to warm yourself and provide for yourself. Fear-mongering. Why? Weather forecast. Fear-mongering and weather forecast. Okay, 
I'm gonna get my other cards. What's with the timing? They said approximately, okay, they said approximately <laughs> at this earthquake started at 10.23 a.m. So there's a 10 and a five there. So that's a 15. The 15th major on arcana in the tarot is the devil card. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went, but yeah. What's with the timing? Fear mongering, fear mongering and weather forecast. It's like fear mongering because of them like telling him aftershocks, aftershocks, right? Wake up. Three exclamation points. Are they trying to fear monger people? Because we're just three days away from the solar eclipse. Are they trying to fear monger people? Telling them about the aftershocks. Are they just trying to fear monger them? We got a yes card. We have the queen of coins, nine of swords, three of swords. That's a yes. Okay. It's like they're using this earthquake and aftershocks to fear monger the public. Look what's on the bottom. Three swords. This is the light seer's tarot. I just pulled it out. Anyway, the, the queen of coins, queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, earth energy, okay? But this is a yes card. It says peaceful abundance. So the queen of coins is secure and grounded. She lives very comfortably in her material 3D financial world. Queen on the throne. Financial opportunities. Material gain. Material abundance. That's a yes. Secure and ground. That's what sticks out. Securing people. In, yeah. Into the nine of swords. This is fear. This is nightmares. This is the dark night of soul. Anxiety. Depression. Then we have the three swords. The three swords can be lies to the heart. Can be mentality being um, in anguish. Um, fears. And then the three swords again on the bottom yeah they want to secure them so what do they want the people over in those areas to s s ground them into their homes or something because of the aftershocks is that what's going on is that what they were fear-mongering them to do is to believe that they should stay home but not really saying that right Playing games? Are you kidding? We have two major arcanas right off the bat. The very first one is the Justice card. This is Libra Energy, number 11 of the major arcanas. This is a huge yes, you guys. Okay? Huge yes. And look, she looks completely different in the reflection. Okay? Beneath the surface, you guys. Air Energy, Libra Energy, the scales, the truth. Okay, yes. Then we have the High Priestess, another major arcana. Check this out, that number 11, right, is a two. Twos are about free wills, choices, and decisions. They want people to choose and to decide to actually stay inside, not go out much and because of possible aftershocks. Look what we got now, the two, High Priestess. Okay, this is another major arcana. See, her eyes are shut, but she can still see. 
this high priestess, she knows information. She knows the secrets. She has the wisdom and knowledge. She holds that higher knowledge, but she keeps it to herself. She's not saying it. She just keeps it to herself. Yes. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, the timing, isn't that funny? The timing, the three days before the solar eclipse. So they are using this earthquake. So they, they, the officials is this, the dark hats, the black hats, they, the officials lying to the community right to people in that area lying to them they're the dark hats the black hats the freaking emperor that's another major arcana he's in control he's the king of all kings this is aries energy and number four of the major arcanas the leader the boss knows how to play the game see the checkerboard on the floor The dark hats. This is the dark hats lying to the people, correct? This is the dark hats lying to the people. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Another major arcana, the freaking magician. Yes. They're the ones fear mongering, which is not surprising. But look at that. Yes. Mag the magician is a one, so it's a yes. Okay. And this is, look, she's hooded, right? This is manifesting, alchemizing energies, trying to mix things up and trying to create a story, trying to create something. Ooh, okay, okay. So now, okay. So the black hats, the dark ones, the, the demonic, the, the officials who lie. Okay, okay, you get it? All for entertainment purposes. They used they used this earthquake today for something too. Is that correct? Page of wands. Page of wands. Fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Pages can be immature, younger energies. Pages is always something new and offer an opportunity and a message. So, yeah. And this is to manifest something. Yeah. Okay. And the geckos actually remind me of a sticky situation too. So, pages can be younger, immature energies. Um, but it's always something new and offer a message and an opportunity Yep, they also took it as an opportunity. And that looks, that reminds me of like the sun, solar, possible eclipse there. Um, the energies. So, is it partly because, again, is it partly because they want people to stay inside when the solar eclipse passes over? Is that correct? Is it partly because... They want people to stay inside, um, not pay attention to the sort of clips, right? Five of swords, fives, changes, challenges, transformation, swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The five of swords is winning at all cost, alienating those around them, blocking others out. Yeah, that's a yes for me. This is like a defeating and winning at all cost. It's going in and doing what you want, right? Taking what you want. Yeah, alienating those around them, blocking others out. They do not want us to see this damn solar eclipse. Look, talking in his ear. Giving him a headache. Oh my gosh. Okay, why did the White Hats use this earthquake? I don't even know if it really was an earthquake. We're going to ask, why did they use this earthquake? Nine of Pentacles. 
Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Well, <sighs> this Nine of Pentacles is super close to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a community. And um, it's satisfaction. It's a success. It's victory. It's a stability, structure, solid foundation. But this Nine of Pentacles is almost there. This Nine of Pentacles is uh, independent, um, is single, independent, a moneymaker, sits well, well with their finances, their material gains. Um, it looks like she's harvesting, doesn't it? Oh my God, it looks like she's freaking harvesting. It's harvesting. They used it to harvest. Let's ask, was it really an actual real earthquake though? Was it really an actual earthquake? Was it really an earthquake? Was it truly an earthquake? I'm not feeling those. Was it truly an earthquake? The freaking chariot. That's another major arcana. Was it really an earthquake? Truly. Was it truly an earthquake? Can I get a yes or no? Is this truly an earthquake this morning? Another major arcana. What the heck? Okay, the first card is the chariot. It's a number seven of the major arcanas. Well, that seventh house is ruled by Libra. Remember the scales. But this chariot card is related to cancer. Cancer rules this card. Cancer is a water sign and it rules the fourth house of home, family, structure, stability. And this chariot card, look at the white horse and the black horse. That reminds me of the white house and the dark hats. Okay. But this chariot is a warrior. Taking control, taking the reins to move forward, to persevere fortitude, strength. This is a vehicle. It's forward movement. And it's mixing two opposing energies well to move forward. Then we have another major arcana. The number five of the major arcanas. Today is April 5th. Five is all about changes, transformations, challenges. This Hierophant card is ruled by Taurus, okay? Taurus rules the second house, and it is earthy, okay? The Hierophant is like a spiritual awakening. We did get that wake-up card. Moving forward for a wake-up, for an enlightenment. This is self-realizations. This is an awakening. This is a wake-up call, epiphanies. This is also a spiritual leader or teacher. Look. Leading the way, taking control, taking the reins, this warrior spirit, right? Persevering forward for a wake up. Why did we get that? I was just asking if this was truly an earthquake. I wasn't getting anything. I don't know if it really was. I wonder if I should pull from another tarot. I kind of want to. Let's do it. Um, okay, let's just do the muse tarot. Okay. Divine source, light creator, guides of love and light only. The 4.8 earthquake that happened this morning that was started in New Jersey that sh sent shock waves through North New York City and surrounding areas, okay? Was this truly a natural earthquake? Was this truly a natural earthquake? Mm. Okay. 
Can I get a yes or no? Was this truly a natural earthquake this morning? We have a page of inspiration. That's the page of wands again. So we've got that before. Wands is fire energy. Action taking. Okay. And the pages is younger, immature, sometimes. Um, younger. Okay. The pages is something new and offer a message and an opportunity to manifest something. To take a new action on something. To wave your magic wand. To create something. Ins inspirations. Creativity. Passion. Fire. I have, I'm not getting a yes. So this was not an earthquake. A natural earthquake, correct? So this was na not a natural earthquake, correct? It wasn't natural. Is that correct? Okay, no wonder. No wonder. Oh, I should take that too. Yeah. It wasn't natural. It was an opportunity to manifest something, to take new action on something, to create something. Okay. The page of wants, the page of inspiration. Okay. A cloud in the sky, multiple colors. Reminds me of those planets and stars, right? So I got a yes. The Ace of Materials, the Ace of Pentacles. Aces is a new beginning and it's earth energy. It's a new seed, by the way, a new beginning, a new seed to grow something abundant, okay? Then we got the Seven of Materials, the Seven of Pentacles. This is those seeds that were planted, tending to them, growing them. Look at this, doesn't that look like a new moon? And then look at the white and black. That kind of reminds me of like Illuminati stuff, okay? I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> All right. But this is the seeds that were planted before that something or somebody has tended to, to grow something from, something abundant, something fruitful. We got harvest. Plant. Planted. shoot okay we're good we're good but what was it can we get something more specific on what it was that it wasn't an earthquake so what was it let's see some kind of seed that reminds me of a bo a b o n what was it if it wasn't an earthquake, a natural earthquake, then what was it? Icons. Watch your back. Icons. Icons. And watch your back. Something unexpected. Icons kind of remind me some celebrities and leaders who've been in trouble and should be in trouble for what they've been involved with. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Icons and then watch your So what was it if it wasn't an earthquake? What else can we get? Immortal. Immortal. Something immortal? Higher consciousness? No freaking way. Are you freaking kidding me? What? No way. Oh my gosh, immortal. Something from the stars. Is this the Galactic Federation of some sort? We have immortal, okay? We have a higher consciousness 
and then a savior on the bottom of the deck. Are you kidding? That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. So Is this something like the Galactic Federation? Is this something like the Galactic Federation? Oh, that ain't gonna do. <laughs> okay, maybe. We'll just take him. Is this something like the Galactic Federation? <sighs> Kinda think so. Possibly. I think partly. Okay, I think partly. We have a Queen of Materials, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we got that before. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. The Queen of Pentacles is secure, abundant, grounded, earthy, um, secure, um, prosperous, um, sits well in our 3D material world, finances. Um, she's protected. Okay. She'll turn down lowball offers. She's... Um, stable very strong foundation okay then we have three materials the three of pentacles look at the braid going up to the sky the stars this is a cooperation teamwork contracts commitments a team support system then the last card is a nine of wands the nine of inspiration fire energy so this is a sagittarius card for me sagittarius rules the ninth house and it represents faith, trust, higher learning, higher education, higher knowledge. Reminds me of that higher consciousness. But this nine of wands is a wounded warrior. Okay. Protects something. Protects everything they've built. Protects how far they've come. Protecting something. Okay. We have teamwork. From something from the ground and something from the sky. Or stars. We have a cooperation here. We have a support team, a support system, and they're warrior spirits. What the heck? Oh. So this is like the White Hats and the Galactic Federation. Is this the White Hats here on Earth and the Galactic Federation? What is going on? Oh, let's try that again. So this is like the White Hats. The truth warriors on earth and like the galactic federation is that correct working together we have a page of pentacles pages can be younger energies but it's always something new and offer a message and an opportunity and this pentacles is earth energy and it's a new seed it's it's planting a new seed to grow everything abundant that you want later on an achievement and accomplishment finances material gains um, something secure, something grounded. What? Something new. Uh, shoot. Page of Pentacles. It doesn't want to focus. But is the Galactic Federation involved? Is the Galactic Federation involved? Yes. The Ace of Voices. This is the Ace of Swords. Ace is yes. And it being the Ace of Swords is related to Archangel Michael's sword. Archangel Michael. Okay. He's all about the truth. Protecting justice karma littles see the flags that's like multiple countries or states that owl being a watcher okay the ace of swords is the true sword clarity and air something flying yeah that's a yes okay 
So they're involved with the White Hats here on Earth with this earthquake and what we're picking up on, right? Right? They're involved with the White Hats here on Earth, the Truth Warriors. Yes or no? The Galactic Federation is involved with all this with the White Hats, the Truth Warriors here on Earth, correct? Knight of Inspiration, the Knight of Wands. So that's fire energy. Knights are the warriors. They get in there and they battle. Okay. They do what's necessary to get the job done. The Knight of Wands comes quickly in and out, back and forth, off and on like fire. They come in and they take action. They do what's necessary to, they do what they need to do. They take action. They take the lead. They come in hot and then they can leave fast. Look at the fireworks. I do. And the fireworks remind me of 4th of July, which reminds me of the United States. I do. It's a white horse, you know, and then we got this white owl. Yeah, I absolutely think they are working together and taking down, doing the harvest thing, taking down the black hats, the dark hats. I really do. I cannot believe how many freaking times I've gotten these in readings. I really can't believe how many freaking times I've gotten so much confirmation on all of this. So let's ask, why are they taking them down? Let's just ask, why are they taking them down? The dark hats, the black hats, why are they taking them down? Harp. If you don't know what harp stun and does, <laughs> probably should look it up. UFOs, UAP, spacecraft. We have harp and UFOs, UAP, spacecraft together. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so much bigger than any of us could even ever imagine. We have the gifted. Harp? Are you kidding? Uh, okay. I mean, it's not surprising, but we got these cards together. So we have gifted, UFO, UAP, spacecraft, and then harp. Look what just fell out from the bottom of this deck. Okay, this deck right here. Remember, we have, we had weather forecast in the beginning. So some kind of technology that harps had and used that they were gifted maybe years ago. Gifted, right? So harp, UFOs, UAP spacecraft. We have the gifted, so gifted them. And then for some of this stuff, chemtrails and things like that. You don't have to believe all this is for entertainment purposes. But my goodness, we got all those together, you know, that's, and we asked why they are taking them down. Is there any other reason why they're taking them down? Black hats, the dark hats. Is there another reason why they're taking him down? Let's just see what we get. That is not going to do. Oh, God. Light bulb moment ideas. Information or, um, oh my gosh. Light bulb reminds me of the solar eclipse. Light bulb moment ideas also reminds me of like knowledge and information. Um,
evidence and then look what's on the bottom firmament the dome I did a reading on that as well a while back and we got chemtrails and weather forecast okay something's gonna happen on the solar eclipse simple as that okay what other questions do I have written down holy cow we are over an hour long and I still got some questions written down. Shit. Okay, so uh, let's get going on it. So I want to ask about the cargo ship colliding into the Baltimore Bridge. Was that just an accident? Was that just an accident? Two of emotions, two cups. That's a no. That's a no, that's not an accident. The two cups, two of emotions is a connection, a relationship. Nope, there's something significant. There's some kind of connection somewhere. That's not just an accident, okay? No, that's not an accident. Two is usually, no. Drop my pan. Okay, so, yeah, I just want to know if there's anything about it that should be questioned, right? And there are others that have been talked about um, that have collapsed or been collided into, but I can't find the information online, of course. Google. You know, you're not going to find much. Anyway, so is there a connection with these bridges to what's going on with this earthquake this morning with the solar eclipse with the white hats the black hats is there a connection with these bridges is there a connection with these bridges the hermit oh and the sun yes and the king of swords yes there's a connection wow that's really interesting so the hermit is a major arcana it's a number nine of the major arcanas um, so the hermit is ruled by Virgo. Virgo, okay, is an earth sign and it rules the sixth house. It rules over the body and health and boundaries, organization, work. And this hermit, it's like introspection, going within, inner light, hiding out, hermiting, like the hermit crab, right? And then we have the sun, which is light the sun solar eclipse it's a number 19 of the major arcanas aries leo sagittarius energy okay there's a connection to the solar eclipse the hermit can be like the inner wisdom the inner knowledge within hiding out taking a break hiding something from the sun or Something about the sun, right? Something about the sun. Then we have the Muse of Voices, which is the King of Swords, which is all about knowledge, information, wisdom. Yeah, there's a connection. Look at it's a freaking bridge. Okay. So what is the connection? Okay, this one, I guess. What's the connection with the bridge? The bridges in the United States. What's the connection with the bridges? Being collided into and crashed and collapsing. Okay, what is it? What's the connection? Witness, witness, witness. The sun can be seen clearly. An epiphany, an awakening. It's also, yeah, like clarity. Because the sun's shining, you get, it's like light bulb, right? And the king of voices, the king of swords, is mental clarity, seeing clearly. Uh, truth, knowledge, wisdom, justice, law, court, um, rising higher to get higher perspectives. Now we have witness. Witness. Witness what? Ooh, we 
have Saturn energy here. Saturn's about karma. Witness. That's so weird. We are getting, hiding the truth right now. Because this, this King of Swords is about truth, justice, law, court. And then we have a witness and Saturn energy, which can be about karma, which is connected to justice, right? The truth. The truth about what? The truth about what? Hidden knowledge, the hermit energy. The truth about what? Manifested. Yeah, this wasn't just accidents, right? Or it could be that the truth is starting to prevail. The truth is coming to light more and more and more and more. It's the shift from the 3D to the 5D. It is, it's about truth, you guys, and epiphanies and awakenings, the wake up, right? And <sighs> the truth prevailing, it's like divine justice, divine order. May have just manifested that, the bridges. For what? For what? Saturn energy. For what? Karma. What about the, the bridges? For what? Still playing out in planning stages. So what did I just say? I said divine plan, divine order. Well, divine timing too. Still being planned out. Ooh, look what's on the bottom. Government. Still being planned out. I don't know. Crossroads is on the bottom. Government's at a crossroads. I'm sure they are. <laughs> oh, freaking A. All right, we better get going into this reading a little bit more so we can finish. This is long. Okay, so now um, what is due, or sorry, what is, what was it due to the Mercury retrograde? Did the bridges collapse because of the Mercury retrograde, the shadow period of the Mercury retrograde? The bridges, did they collapse or get run into because of the Mercury retrograde? Uh, the higher font, that's another major arcana. Five changes, challenges, transformations. The higher font being ruled by Taurus. Taurus rules the second house. And it can be earthy energy, um, food related, um, material things, financial things. The higher font is an awakening as well. It's a spiritual leader, teacher, conformity, rules, establishments, marriage contracts. Um, it's also like uh, holding some keys information about society. So. I don't think it was Mercury retrograde really. It may have been a little susceptible from the Mercury retrograde, but it was a shadow period of it too. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So the bridge collapsing, the bridges collapsing was a planned thing, right? Because we got that planned thing, right? So it was a planned thing. The bridges collapsing. It was a planned, right? Oh my God. Look at this. We have the devil. And then the hangman's on the bottom. And we have death. These are all major arcanas. The devil is toxicity, strings attached, puppeteering. Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay. Then we have the hangman. And number 12 of the major arcanas. Look at the all seeing eye in the pyramids. This is also a sacrifice. Upside down world, upside down reality. Then we have death. The 13th major arcana in the tarot. See the moth silencing him? Silence. This is a death, rebirth, changes, cycles, transformations, endings, and new beginnings. Look, this reminds me of a web of lies, by the way. So, yeah, I think it was used for some, some kind of planned agenda for the government. I, witness. Law, truth, justice, karma. 
weird. Okay, okay. I'm getting tired. So now, um, okay, now the cicada thing. All these things happening at this time just seems like there is something connected somehow, right? Okay, so is there a connection with the cicadas re-emerging in April? Is there some connection to all of this? Look how much freaking ace that's what you're looking for a yes or a no this is a straight up yes there's a connection ace of cups ace of emotions cancer Pisces, scorpio energy this is like the heart feelings emotions waters the subconscious um the heart chakra look at she's emerging out of the water oh yes there's a connection of the cicadas The cicadas. There's a freaking connection. Holy shiz. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Are you kidding me? All right. So now, how come the cicadas weren't predicted six months ago or even a year ago? Why now? Why now? They've had 13 freaking years. Look, 13th major arcana in the tarot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why now? Why now? The emperor, another major arcana. Major arcanas. That's crazy. The emperor's Aries energy. So Aries rules the last half of March and the first half of April. They are predict predicting the cicadas are gonna emerge at the end of April. So I don't know about the end of April, but it is a number four of the major arcanas and April is the fourth month. So anytime in April, and it's been 13 years, 13's a four, fourth house. Ruled by Cancer, a water sign, and it rules the fourth house of home, family, structure, stability, a foundation. The United States is what we're freaking talking about. The Emperor is a boss, a leader in control, knows how to play the game, the king of all kings, divine masculine, a male influencer figure. Oh, what? What? Yeah, why now? What? Let's pull from one of my cards. Wow. Why now? Okay, there's one. You've got this. Exclamation point. You've got this. Reminds me of the Emperor. He's a boss, a leader in control knows what to do, very grounded, very structured, has a solid foundation. You've got this. What are the cicadas supposed to represent? Them emerging. What are the cicadas supposed to represent them re-emerging in April this year? Fall time, equinox. fall time reminds, reminds me of harvest and um the cicadas are known to come and devour the harvest right there's a connection to everything you guys in some way in some way okay harvest we just had the spring equinox that was march like 20th 21st harvest time I think the cicadas are supposed to represent the harvest time the devouring of the harvest look what's on the bottom just saying again all for entertainment purposes look what I just cut to solar eclipse
we'll put those out. You know, that's so weird. We have planetary and um, revealed in time too. Wow. Re-emerging, revealing, right? So this one, Hollywood celebrities. We have solar eclipse. We have planetary and revealed in time. Wow. I'm going to finish um, asking the rest of the questions I've written down. Okay. Holy crap. This is good. Okay. Um, well, how about this? Are the cicadas going to really re-emerge this month, April 2024? Are they going to really emerge, re-emerge this month, April 2024? Four voices. Four. Fourth month, April. Voices of Swords, which is Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. The Four of Swords is something laid to rest. They've been resting for how long? Yeah, I do. I do. And then on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Inspiration, the Eight of Wands. Something coming in fast and swift, quick. And it shows the sun. So see the Four of, four of Swords, Four Voices. This is something laid to rest, resting, resting after battle, um, meditation, relaxation, uh, just something that's been resting, right? And the four, resting for 13 years, 13 is a four, crazy. And then we have the eight of inspiration, the eight of wands, fire energy. It may just be a, right around the solar eclipse. I think it might be that day. I don't know. <laughs> But it will be in April, I believe. I do. And they're going to come in fast. They're going to re-emerge fast, quick, swift. That sun there, crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm almost done. So what can we expect the day of the solar eclipse with the economy? Okay. <sighs> yep, yeah, one second. I need another deck. And I need a hit. Dang, this is good. I just seen one eleven eleven. Oh, you guys won't see that though. All right, so we're gonna use the Millennium Thoth Tarot, okay? Whoo! So, what can we expect on the day of the solar eclipse with the economy? With the economy. Woo! Ten of Wands. Are you kidding? Wow, that's fire energy. Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten is a fulfillment, a completion of a cycle. The Ten of Wands is putting burdens down, putting down heaviness, low vibrations. It reminds me of the 3D, which is low vibrational. Okay? Putting all that down to get a fresh new start, a fresh new beginning. With the economy. That was about the economy. Now let's pull one of my cards and see what that has to say. Wow, that's really interesting. What can we expect on the day of the solar eclipse with the economy in the United States? Knows no bounds. And divide and conquer. What? What? Knows no bounds. Wow. And divide and conquer. A reset. Is this some kind of reset? No, there's no bounds. Divide and conquer. Is this some kind of reset with the economy? Now we have a ten of swords. Ten, ten are completions. Endings and new beginnings. Swords is mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, and communication. The Ten of Swords is lies, deceits, things, you know, you've been stabbed in the back, lied to, and that ending. See the scales? The justice scales. 
Wow. Divide and conquer knows no bounds. Divide and conquer. There's going to be a new beginning. And I just cut to the death card. It's a number 13 of the Major Arcanas. It's a death rebirth. A cycle. An ending and a new beginning. That's crazy. That wind is brutal out there today. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so what can we expect on the day of the solar eclipse with the weather? Seven of Wands. Okay, fire energy. So the Seven of Wands is divine protection, but it's also defensiveness. It's like um, building up a wall bubble barrier to protect yourself, protect your energy, protect how far you've come. It's standing up, speaking up, standing your ground, um, fighting back with the weather. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of a temperature change, right? Um, because the moon's going to block the sun with the weather. Fired, let go. Fired, let go. Fire. Fire. <laughs> sun energy, but let go. Temperature drop. Tem temperature drop, right? Does anybody need to worry about that? Is it going to be drastic enough to worry about it, right? Is it going to be drastic enough to worry about it? Princess of Swords. So that's the page. Yep. The Page of Swords, page is younger and mature, but not always. It's all, it is something new and offer a message and an opportunity. Swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And uh, the Page of Swords is something new and offer a message and opportunity to move to more solid ground strategically with information, light bulb moments, knowledge, books, information. movement it's also like new epiphanies like new light bulb new knowledge new information so the weather protected a bubble of protection from the fire a dropping the sun temperature dropping right And then moving to a more strategic solid ground with information, light bulb moments, revelations revealed in time. Um, so don't, pe people don't need to worry. It's not going to be drastic enough. Is that correct? Whoa. Nine of swords. And the freaking sun. Wow. <laughs> Here's the princess of swords. That's the page of swords. Okay. Oh, why doesn't it want to focus? Jeez. And then we have the nine of swords. So swords is that mentality, the thoughts, beliefs, words, and communication. Okay. And the nine of swords is anxieties, depression, stress, nightmares. Um, I just got a notification a Sarah, by Sarah Hall on YouTube. It said something about the total solar eclipse 2024. I'll have to go watch that. Okay, the Nine of Swords, though, is like the fears, anxieties, doubts, depressions, um, dark night of soul, um, worries, worries. And then the sun. We just got the sun card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a number 19 of the Major Arcanas. <sighs> this is something being revealed. Worries. Worries, anxieties, stresses being revealed. Going to be given some kind of information. People are going to be given some kind of information about the weather. What? Two of Cups. That can be a no. Twos are about decisions, choices, and free will. Cups is feelings and emotions. But it's usually a relationship. Okay. Something about the moon and the sun. It's going to be something about the moon and sun. I don't know. 
the gold dolphin, the, the gray dolphin reminds me of the sun and the moon. This can be a relationship, a union of two things. Something about the weather. Look, I just cut to the moon. Moving to more solid ground. Some kind of information revealed about the weather. We did have weather forecasts in the beginning, you know. I don't know. Let's just pull one of my cards. Something revealed about the sun and moon and weather, the weather. Lunar eclipse? What? We got solar eclipse and now we got lunar eclipse. This is about revelations too, things that are hidden that comes to light. Are you kidding? We are in eclipse season now because we just had a penumbral lunar eclipse. Ooh, we got blackmail, lunar eclipse blackmail. I don't know. I, I feel like they're trying to distract us. They don't want us to see something about the solar eclipse. They do not want us to see something about it, you guys. They just don't. And I feel like those who are going to be aware and see it and everything are going to watch it, they're going to see something. They're going to see something. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. And the weather. Okay, I'm just curious of what we're going to experience that day. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, so is there anything else um, that's going to happen on the day of the solar eclipse that we need to know about? That we need to know about? Yes, Ace of Pentacles. Ace is a yes. Pentacles is earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is material, financial, um tangible anything in the 3d plane um in our world our reality it can be finances economy like hmm anything else that's a yes okay so what what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about the day of the solar eclipse what else do we need to know secret space program <laughs> okay what else horsing around <laughs> are they going to be moving like their ships and UAPs and UFOs and stuff what there may be something seen on the moon there may just be something that is seen on the moon. Is that correct? Movement. Are they going to, going to be seeing movement? Are people going to be seeing movement around the moon on the solar eclipse watching it? Are they going to be seeing movement around the moon? Yes or no, please. Nine of wands. Wounded warrior, spirit, Sagittarius energy. So we have the secret space program and horsing around. Horsing around, okay. Movement, movement, movement. Okay, and then we have the nine of wands, which is the Sagittarius card for me. Sagittarius is a fire sign and it rules the ninth house of trust, faith, spirituality, but also higher learning, higher education, higher knowledge, higher perspectives. And the nine of wands is a wounded warrior. Okay. And they're warrior spirits. No matter how many times they've gotten knocked down, they always stand back up stronger each time and they protect something. They, they build a wall barrier bubble to protect something or protect how far they've come. This may have something to do with the dome, the firmament that we got, right? I think so. <laughs> I'm so curious. Oh, three more days, three more days. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, is something going to also emerge about the cicada 
3301 puzzle, the crypto puzzle. Is there something going to be revealed about that? Princess of Wands, that's the Page of Wands. And that's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a Sun symbol and there's an Aries symbol. Aries season. Oh, it's a tiger. Aren't we in the year of the tiger now? Aren't we? I have to check. Oh, okay. Anyway, so um, the page of wands. Page is something new and offer a message or an opportunity to manifest something, to take a new action, to be inspired for passions, uh, for creativity, to manifest. Wave your magic wand. The magician, alchemize. Take a lead, take an action, take a new lead, a new lead. Is there going to be a new lead on the Cicada 3301 or on the Solar Eclipse? What the heck? Nine of Pentacles. That kept coming, wanting to come out. It's so weird because I knew this earthquake had something to do with this damn Solar Eclipse. So I have to cover her a little bit. The Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands. So something new and offer an opportunity, a message to manifest something new, to take a new lead on something, to take a new action on something. Okay. And then we have the nine of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a single independent energy, a money maker. There is a reward, by the way, if you solve this. Okay. Um, solve these puzzles. So I don't know what it is. I think it's like four thousand dollars or something. I don't know. But anyway, the Nine of Pentacles sits well with their finances, their mater material things, their tangible world, three D playing, good solid structure, stability. It does remind me of that Harvest too a little bit. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. That's also money too. It's a number ten of the Major Arcanas. This is a Major Arcana. So ten can be connected to the Capricorn energy, earthy. The 10th house is career, public image, social status. Um, 10 is about a completion of fulfillment. And the this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The wheel of fortune is fate, destiny, cycling through karmic lessons. Cycling reminds me of the cicada for some reason, but this is also forward movement. So possibly, possibly you guys, the sun symbol, it's forward movement. It's the wheel turning. It can be money. It can be fate destiny. It's cycling. It's karmic cycles. Possibly. Cicada 3301. Okay. So now, solar, solar eclipses are about breakthroughs. So what else do we need to know? We need to do an oracle. So let's find out what we need to do here. Um, oh shoot, this is so Okay, let's try it. Let's do the new Tree of Life Oracle, okay? Dang. Just gotta find my book. So what else do we need to know about this earthquake this morning, the 4.8 earthquake on April 5th, 2024, the solar eclipse, the cicada thing, the bridges. What else do we need to know about all of these things? There was also a weird freaking explosion. Supposedly a car was on fire, Washington, DC and things like that. Again, all for entertainment purposes only. But it's just kind of strange, right? Okay, we have the 11th path, okay? So we are in the age of the Aquarius, right? 11th house in astrology is ruled by Aquarius. It's an air sign. And the 11th house represents hopes, wishes, friends, community, humanitarianism, right? So, yeah. All right, and... um. 
Yeah, the eleventh path, and it's the Fool. The Fool would be like the zero of the major arcanas in the tarot, which is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And oh, my gosh, the Fool is a leap of faith, a trust fall, jumping into the unknown, surrendering to the divine source like creator. It is being spontaneous, being adventurous, being childlike. Um, it's a journey. It's a leap of faith, and it says leap of faith freedom, and trust. This is going to be a good thing. Uh, we're going to see challenges, right? We're going to see some challenges. Things are going to get hard here and there, you know, but have faith. Oh, this is what we need to know. So first of all, paths, it says your soul gathers experiences. It won't be the first time it has walked this way. And yet each time it is unique. Remember that you've been here before. Are you going to do what you've always done or do things differently this time you choose? And remember, we were talking about 3D to the 5D. Okay. The age of Aquarius, the golden age, you know, stepping into this shift, this paradigm shift. Oh, so cool. We just did a full freaking 180 or full circle, full circle. Here we go. Leap of faith, freedom, and trust. From Kether to Kokma, if you're standing at the top of the tree, you'll find the tarot card of the fool in the planet Uranus. What is it you want to manifest? Perhaps you only know the next step. That may be enough. The fool, a bit of a rogue perhaps, but certainly one from embracing a good time, releasing, releasing his freedom, safe in the knowledge that when he takes his leap of faith, he will be caught. It is, it's not easy being a spiritual energy in an earthly world, but it's what you've signed up for and your divine nature is needed here, which is why you took that leap from spirit into being. We've all heard the saying, you are a spiritual being having an earthly experience that could have been written for the fool. Marrying your divine nature to the demands of the washing up is essential. How can you use the freedoms of this card in this sure and constant knowledge that when you leap, you'll be caught? It's not about being reckless, not about being foolish, but about displaying your unique being in a way that helps you show up as your wonderful self. What's calling you to do just that? Where do you need to trust in the gods and in what you've gathered around you? Those around you may suggest you're being foolish. Who cares? Activate. Before the bungee jump, it's no bad idea to stop, take in the view, and remind yourself of the support of the harness around you. Take a breath now and take in the support around you and the view from this high point. Then breathe again and again. Still yourself before making that call, sending that email, drawing a big thick line under that problem. So there's some guidance for <laughs> going through this process, this, uh, this uh, solar eclipse and what we're going to experience. Very interesting. Okay, so now how funny the question number 18 that i have do the white hats have anything to do with this earthquake we've already asked let's see if we can get a confirmation real quick can we just get a confirmation really quickly divine source like creator guides protectors of the love and light only do the white hats have anything to do with this earthquake oh there's so much information flooding in where'd it go where did my card go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three of swords, the Gemini card, the three freaking ever since the beginning, the three. Three, that third house of Gemini with Mercury. It rules, um, it's air. It rules communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. That three of swords can be heartbreak, can be three energies hurt, it can be the mind hurting the heart, um, lies, manipulations, hurt by words, hurt by communication, hurt by beliefs and thoughts. That three. What is up with the three? Got a lot of Gemini energy. Okay. Okay. That's kind of confirmation. We got that a few times, that three swords. Okay, let's pull from the Dungeons and Dragons tarot really quickly. I'm going to ask again from a new deck. Do the White Hats, the good guys, have anything to do with this earthquake this morning, April 5th of 2024? Queen of Wisdom, the Queen of Cups. 
Um, so the Queen of Cups is the seer. Uh, she sees things. She sees the truth. This wind is brutal. Um, she's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And uh, she's empathetic, sympathetic. She's very loving and kind. I do. I do. Yep, the seer. She sees things and knows things. But she's empathetic, sympathetic, kind, generous, loving, compassionate. Okay. <laughs> all right. So now, um, what is the connection with all of the threes that we talked about? What's the connection with all of the threes that we talked about? Page of charisma. That's the page of pentacles. Pages again. Look at the tiger. Are we in the tiger? The year of the tiger? Look at the doors are about to open. Okay. And to the light, right? So pages, something new, an offer, a message, and an opportunity. Charisma is pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. A new earth. That's the three. That's all. That's because of, that's, it's the new earth. 3D planet earth. It's the new earth. That's because, that's why we're getting all the threes, is because the new earth coming in, about to be open, the doors, the opportunity. Wow. Okay, so now, um, impact, the word impact in that article was used four times, and then we read struck twice and hit twice. So that's a four, four, right? Four, two, two. So four, four, which is an eight. So is there a significance to these words being used, adding up to these specific numbers? Is there a significance to that? Yes. Ace of strength and a, there's three yeses right there. Three yeses. Check it out. The ace of strength. That's the ace of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ace of Wands is intentions, taking action, manifesting, creativity, inspirations. Now we have the Ace of Wisdom, the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is water energy. This is feelings, emotions, the heart. We're talking about heart consciousness, Christ consciousness, the new earth 5D, right? This is the heart healing, love, unconditional love, universal love, and a, the flow of emotions. Then we have justice, a major arcana. This is a number 11 of the major arcanas. We just had two aces. Aces is a one. One, 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 one. There's four right there. Everything's freaking connected. So justice, Libra energy, justice, truth, clarity, seeing clearly, bringing in balance and harmony and union. Yes, there's a connection. See, it ends. That's a seven of strength, seven of wands. Ace, Ace, Justice. All on the bottom like that. Well, Ace of Cups and Justice. <laughs> That's what came out. The three yeses. Three in a row like that. Okay. So there's a connection there. So now what is bursting at the seams? Remember, we were getting that in the general energetic messages in the very beginning. What is bursting at the seams? When we were talking about the earthquake. What is bursting at the seams? Are you freaking kidding me? Ace of Charisma. The Ace of Pentacles. Now we have three aces. Ace of Pentacles, a new earth. That's what it is. Because Pentacles is earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. New earth, a new seed, a new life. Fertility, new abundance. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's what's bursting at the seams. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> we are done. This was long. So I apologize, but I wanted to get this done. I want to do an update on the solar eclipse before it happens. And then I wanted to know about this earthquake and the cicada thing and the bridge thing, right? So thank you for being here with me. But let's pull one ending message, okay? One ending message and oof, let's see got to figure out what to do um 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. I want an ending message. Okay, let's do... <laughs> I'm just gonna cut this shit out. So let's pull one ending message from the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Cards. Let's see what we get. All right, Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. So what ending message can we receive to go about throughout this solar eclipse and thereafter? What ending message can we get? for this reading full moon in aquarius remember we were getting that 11th path the 11th house of aquarius the age of aquarius that we're in now and um that 11th house is hopes wishes friends community humanitarianism right and then it says be real oh i like that okay let's read this out of the guidebook and end the reading There we go. Okay. Be real. That is so funny. This is on page 100 and ends on page 101. Remember all those aces, which is a one. Can you see that? It just does not want to focus. Thanks, Mercury Retrograde. Saka. 101. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sometimes we pursue someone or something for all the wrong reasons. Our ego gets involved and before we know it, we're diving, driving ourselves crazy by chasing something that may not even be right for us. This card reminds you that sometimes you need to t back off a little, worry less and trust more. That's what we were getting. That's what we were getting throughout the reading, right? Um, life is about fun and laughter, but you'll take all the fun out of it if you spend too long in your head rather than in your heart. That's exactly what we were getting. You might win, but it might not be a great victory. Release. Find a balance between being real and trying to please all the people all the time. Life goes in cycles and that's okay. The more you can accept that, the easier this phase will be for you. Wow. This is advice for this coming solar eclipse and thereafter, right? Okay, how to uh, manifest a ritual for awakening, it says. Oh my gosh. Add frankincense oil to your diffuser. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Call in Isis, the goddess who supports us in our awakening to the truth. We had wake up. This story eclipse is about breakthroughs, epiphanies, wake ups. Okay, ask Isis to show you your truth. Once you know that in your heart, you'll know your next best step. Your manifestation affirmation. The truth empowers me and sets me free, free again. Okay, when to manifest your magic. The best time to work your magic is when the moon is in Aquarius on a Saturday, Saturn's day. We got Saturn energy, remember? Or during Saturn's hour. The full moon in Aquarius takes place when the sun is in Leo and the moon is in Aquarius. Okay, that's it, you guys, I'm done. This is the reading on an update for the solar eclipse, but also about this 4.8 earthquake that started in New Jersey and it felt all the way through New York City, and Maine, and other surrounding areas. Okay. And um, 
I just thank you guys so much for being here. All of your support, all of your comments, your beliefs, what you feel, what you pick up, what you see, you know, it really helps me so much. All of your support really helps me. And um, remember, all of this is for entertainment purposes, but the truth is always stranger than fiction. I believe in what I do, okay? I believe in my connections and my source of information, right? And um, it's great getting confirmation, you know? And so um, I just love hearing your guys' take on all of this stuff. So if you want me to cover a topic, you can always let me know. You can comment below. You can always email me. I'm also doing personal readings. So if you're interested in a personal reading, you can comment below or email me. My email's in the description below. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so you are notified for future uploads. And um, unconditional love and light, so be it. And um, truth is always stranger than fiction. Just remember that. Always ask questions. Always have an open mind. Okay? And I will see you guys later. Bye. I tried so hard.